welcome to EC Electronics. So in this video, we are going to see about the noise in communication systems. We'll be see, uh, seeing the basics of noises and also mainly we'll be concentrating on the thermal noise or white noise. Okay. So we are going to see about the thermal noise in this video. So in today's video, we are going to cover a very major area from analog communication subject, which is noise in analog communication. Okay. So noises means they are unwanted random interferences, which is trying to degrade or which degrades the performance of analog or digital system whether it is analog system or digital system these unwanted interferences will try to degrade and they are called noises okay there are two uh, types of noises it can be external or it can be internal for example some lightning happening it is an external noise then internal means it is happening within the system example thermal noise okay so in the upcoming days we'll be studying about all these major categories of noises which are a thermal noise or white noise then short noise partition noise flicker noise and burst noise in today's video we'll be discussing about the thermal noise or white noise and uh, the rest of the other noises will be studying together as a single video okay because we have to discuss more things or in detail about thermal noise uh, as compared to that of these noises so that's why i'm doing thermal noise as this separate video okay so in today's video or in this video we'll be discussing about the thermal or white noise in detail okay so let's see what is thermal noise or white noise so the noise that we are going to discuss in this video is thermal noise or white noise okay so this thermal noise is or white noise is created due to the electrons and its random motion inside the conductor okay so the electrons in the conductor have some kinetic energy and due to this kinetic energy they are in random motion due to this random motion they'll be creating some randomly varying voltage across the ends of the conductor which will constitute the thermal noise okay so this is nothing but due to the random motion of the electrons in the conductor due to the random motion of electrons in the conductor the thermal noise or white noise is generated okay so if you take the average value of this voltage generated you will get zero but if you take the rms value you will get a finite finite value okay so the rms value is zero but the sorry the average value is zero but you have an equation for finding the rms value of this random voltage generated okay and the equation is given by the rms value of this voltage which is a random voltage generated due to this thermal noise is equal to v square equal to 4 into kb which is boltzmann's constant into t which is the temperature in Kel kelvin integral f1 to f2 f1 and f2 are the two frequencies there is a lower and the upper limit of your bandwidth actually or the range of the of your system okay so f1 and f2 integral r df where r is the resistance okay so this is the equation for rms voltage there is a random voltage and its rms value is given by v square equal to 4 kb kbt integral f1 to f2 rdf where f1 is the lower value of your uh, bandwidth that is if this is your entire bandwidth f1 will be the lower limit f2 will be the upper limit and f1 minus f2 or f2 minus f1 will constitute the bandwidth bn okay so that is a concept so this is the two frequencies of your bandwidth two n frequencies or two n limits of the bandwidth r is the resistance of the conductor into df and if you simplify this equation into a more usable form, you'll be getting an equation V equal to square root of 4 kbt bnr. 4 kb is a Boltzmann's constant again. T is a temperature in Kelvin. Bn is the bandwidth. So this is the bandwidth. Earlier we have used the, used the two frequencies. Now we are writing an equation in terms of bandwidth into resistance. Okay. And... Also, you can write an equation in terms of the noise power V square. So, this V is nothing but the RMS value of voltage, okay, equal to 
4 r p n where p n is the noise power. And from this equation, you can write Pn, that is the noise power is equal to V square by 4R. And if you substitute V square as this, or if you take the square of it and you, uh, if you substitute it here, and simplif on simplification, you will be getting the equation for noise power Pn equal to Kb Tbn, where Kb is a Boltzmann's constant, T is a temperature, and Bn is the bandwidth, okay. So this is the equation for noise power and this is the equation for noise voltage. Okay, and the ratio Pn by Bn, the ratio Pn by Bn equal to Kb into T and that is called the power spectral density. So from this relation, you can write Pn by Bn is equal to Kb into T, right? That is nothing but the power spectral density. So, Pn by Bn equal to Kb into T which is the power spectral density. So, we have studied three important equations here. One is the equation for the RMS voltage which is generated due to this random motion of electrons in the conductor and that is the, this equation or you can write it like this. Then, the noise power is given by V square by 4R and Pn is equal to Kb T Bn. Okay. So, you can also write an equation from this in terms of v square it will be v square is equal to 4 kb t bn into r okay so this is the equation that is just taking the square of this you will be getting v square equal to 4 kb t bn into r where kb is a boltzmann's constant t is a temperature bn is a bandwidth r is a resistance okay so these are the various relations or these are the various equations of thermal noise okay so next let us do a small problem on finding the value of thermal noise and the uh, that is its voltage and the power so the question is calculate the noise power from any resistor at room temperature in bracket it is given 298 kelvin also find the noise voltage given r equal to 50 ohm B and bandwidth equal to 1 megahertz. Okay, so first we need to find what is the noise power. Then also we need to find the noise voltage. So both things we have to find power or power and also voltage. First we'll find power. The equation for power Pn is equal to noise power Kb T Bn. Okay, Kb is a Boltzmann's constant. T is a temperature. This is given. Bn is a bandwidth. It is also given. So the Boltzmann's constant kb you have to put kb equal to 1.380 into 10 raised to minus 23 joule kelvin raised to minus 1 substitute it in here t take is t equal to 298 kelvin and b and you have to take as 1 megahertz so these things three things you have to take and substitute it here and you will be getting pn equal to 4.1 into 10 raised to minus 15 watts okay so generally the unit we take for the power is dbm but if you want to uh, write in watts it is also possible generally we write in dbm values okay dbm then so the value of power we have obtained is 4.1 into 10 raised to minus 15 watts also, the equation for V or V square is equal to 4 into R into Pn. So, there is a relation between noise power and RMS value of noise voltage like this. V square equal to 4 R Pn. Okay, 4 into 50 into 4.1 into 10 raised to minus 15. You will be getting the result as so, on solving the value of V square, you will be getting is 8.22 into 10 raised to minus 13 volts. Okay. So, this is the this is the value for your V square and you will be getting uh, Pn is equal to 4.1 into 10 raised to minus 15 volts. Okay. So, we will get the value of noise power is 4.1 into 10 raised to minus 15 watts and V square you will be getting as 8.22 into 10 raised to minus 13 volts. Okay. So, these are the values of uh, power and the V square the voltage value. 
now uh, consider that so here we are only considering one resistor but sometimes the resistors will be connected in series or in parallel form so consider that your resistance is connected in series okay so the resistor is connected in series form like this up to n so your resultant if it is r1 r2 etc up to rn your series r series will be r1 plus r2 plus etc right so this will be your new resistance now and the equation for v square will be modified as v square equal to 4 r series k b t into b n okay so this will be your new equation for v square you have to now substitute the value of the equivalent resistance which is r series for r series k b t b n or you can write in terms of p n also you can substitute as p n these three terms okay now if your resistances are connected in parallel up to n consider that the resistances are r1 r2 up to rn then your 1 by r parallel which is the equivalent will be 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 plus etc 1 by rn and it will be v square is equal to 4 r parallel into kb into t into bn okay so this will be your new equation if your resistors are connected in parallel so why because uh, not only single resistor but a combination can also be given to you so in that case you have you have case you have to first find the value of the equivalent resistance and then you have to apply or substitute that value in your v square equation okay so that is the case or that is the series or parallel uh, connection case okay so next we are going to discuss about the noise current by thermal noise or constituted by thermal noise we model this noise current with an ideal current source or a current source with a parallel resistance and the current is given by the equation i n equal to square root of 4 k b t b n by r so here we are just taking current equal to voltage by resistance that is only we are doing we are substituting the value of voltage here and then divided by r okay so you'll be getting like this okay since there was a v square in that term since there is a r in the numerator we are getting r in the square root also okay so this is the equation for the noise current okay so we have discussed about the equation for noise voltage noise power and also noise current next we are going to study about the thermal noise in capacitors okay so next we are going to study the thermal noise in capacitors ideally capacitors doesn't have any thermal noise they are uh, ideal elements but but we know that generally we use r and c combinations in a lot of circuits right we use r and c combinations resistance and capacitance combinations right so this combination will give a thermal noise or a white noise okay and the equation for its rms value directly we'll get the equation for voltage vn or simply you can write v also here i'm taking vn what is this this is the rms value of thermal noise voltage okay so this is the rms value vn is equal to square root of kb kb t by c so this is the equation for finding the rms value of thermal vo noise voltage or you can write vn square is equal to simply you can take kb t by c so this b is the suffix of k okay it is indicating boltzmann's constant don't get confused it is kb into t by c okay now generally if you see in filters with capacitors you can find a thermal noise voltage of this equation so if it is uh, connected to the filters or filter circuits also the thermal noise voltage will be also this equation okay same equation because in filters we know we use capacitors right and also resistances so there is an r and c combination and the thermal voltage will be of this equation and the noise charge so this is the voltage equation 
for capacitors. Now the noise charge. Its equation is given by noise charge Qn square is equal to C square Vn square where Vn is the voltage. Okay, The equation is written just above it. And if you substitute the value of Vn square that is this value if you substitute you will be getting C square Kb T by C and you will get Kb T C. Okay, so this voltage or this noise voltage sometimes or this noise in general sometimes it is also called as KTC noise. Why? Because it is the product of K into T into C. KB or K which is Boltzmann's constant into temperature into C. So that is the KTC noise. Okay. So this KTC noise is found in circuits where we use a combination of R and C resistance and capacitance. Okay. I hope it is clear. So in this video we have discussed about the thermal noise. So this thermal noise I want to brief up the video in 2-3 seconds. Okay. So the thermal noise is constituted by the random motion of electrons in the conductor. So this random motion will generate a random voltage and this voltage is nothing but the noise voltage which is a thermal noise voltage if you take the average value of it you will get a zero but if you take the rms value you can find a finite value and also we have discussed the equation for it and also we have discussed the equation for the power noise power and the power spectral density okay then we have done a question connected to it and also we have discussed what will happen when the resistances are connected in series and in parallel combination then we have discussed about the noise current and finally we have discussed about the thermal noise in capacitors. So the capacitors ideally they don't do, do not produce any thermal uh, noise or any white noise but when we are using the R and C combination they generate a KTC noise or a thermal noise okay and also we have discussed the equation for it. So in this video we have generally discussed about the thermal noise or white noise okay. I'm really hoping that you found the video useful because I tried to cover all the equations connected to it and also the concepts. If yes, please do give it a thumbs up and also share it with your friends. And if you want more videos, please do subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and keep on watching.